I'm Kerry Selkowitz. I'm uh, trained as a psychiatrist and psychoanalyst. I started a consultancy called the Boswell Group, and we advise uh, CEOs and boards and management teams of a wide range of companies around the world on people and culture and succession and the soft stuff, really. People who are looking for a new job right now are entering into that decision process at a, at a really interesting time. The world is so different now than it was a couple of years ago. But, but one of the social changes that I think is a good one is that, that this pandemic has um, caused a lot of people to do more self-reflection, more introspection about their lives and what really matters to them than they might ordinarily do when they're in the mad rush of things. Those kinds of thoughts about, am I doing work that is meaningful to me? Am I doing work with people who I really want to be with? Uh, is, how is the quality of my life? I think that that kind of soul searching uh, should influence people in their choice of jobs. With all the economic uncertainty that we're facing, layoffs do seem inevitable and clearly they're already happening. There's no uh, secret to how to do it. It's, it's terrible. Nobody likes to lay people off, but sometimes for the good of the enterprise, layoffs have to be made. There are a few fairly simple guidelines that I would recommend. One is tell the truth, meaning explain the reasons for the layoff uh, and use plain language rather than euphemisms. Uh, I've heard people talk about riffs and uh, people that, well, what's a riff? Is that something that happens in jazz music or is that a reduction in force? Well, they're usually referring to an RIF, a reduction in force. Don't, don't use these silly acronyms because that means you're hiding behind some kind of language that, that, that again reveals your discomfort in your leadership role rather than just being straight with the, uh, the people who are going to be hearing this bad news. One of the roles of, of leaders is really to not be psychiatrists themselves, but certainly to pay attention to anxiety, to manage the anxiety of their organizations. They need to acknowledge that some of the people who were let go were let go even though they were really good people and good workers and good colleagues. And so uh, there's, there's loss that needs to be acknowledged. Most employees these days know that there's hardly any job that is uh, guaranteed for life. In fact, I can't think of one. So living with uncertainty is part of being in the workforce these days. If somebody does get laid off, uh, it is painful. Uh, there's no no uh, no two ways uh, about it. it. It is a it is a painful experience, and so I think this is a a time when this is happening more um, for um, for us to be empathetic. And our our world right now is um, is going through a serious shortage of empathy. But um, but but those who are laid off deserve it. The pandemic has also precipitated what I have in the past referred to as a pandemic of anxiety, but I think that has given way to all sorts of other feelings, uh, more in the depressive spectrum of things because there's been so much loss and so much change. And I'm not just referring to the tragic loss of lives, but loss of the way of living. But there's a silver lining there too, which is that the pandemic and its uh, psychological consequences has further destigmatize mental health. When you've got CEOs and celebrities and political leaders talking about mental health issues, that's a really good thing because it gives permission for other people to talk about it, people who might have otherwise been too ashamed to talk about something that was taboo. You know, human connection is at the heart of dealing with, with problems. If we are alone and lonely, we're gonna suffer more. And so human connection is really, uh, I think, the most important thing. Uh, sometimes the, the need is, is, is for that plus um, uh, mental health uh, 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 services with a, with a psychotherapist. But, uh, but to start with connection and to not suffer alone is really the, the place to begin.